Nissan's technical service publications can be accessed at nissan-techinfo.com. To view manuals correctly, you will need to use one of the latest versions of Adobe Reader. To get the latest version of Adobe Reader, go to adobe.com. It is critical that you use Microsoft Internet Explorer to view manuals. Do not use Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, as the destination links will not work in this case. Once at nissan-techinfo.com, select the North American continent. At the bottom left of the page, first-time users have the option to register, and returning users have the option to access your account. Let's click the Access Your Account option. Enter your username and password on the right side of the screen and click Submit. If you successfully enter your credentials, the next screen you see will be the Secure Login page. Click the Home button on the top navigation bar. You are now logged in to the main home page. Your credentials should be showing at the bottom left of the page, and you should be looking at these six boxes towards the middle of the screen. For this example, let's click on the View Nissan Publication box. Use the search feature on the right side of the page to narrow down the type of publication you need. Let's assume we are looking for repair information on a 2016 Nissan Pathfinder in this example. For publication type, be sure it says Service Manual. For model, hit the drop down for Pathfinder. For model year, select 2016. You should now be looking at a search results page showing two items found. The top option is a wiring diagram for the vehicle and the bottom option is the service manual. Select the blue eye icon next to the 2016 Nissan Pathfinder service manual. Congratulations, you've now accessed your first service manual. Now that we have the service manual pulled up, let's talk about how it works. Within the quick reference index section, you'll see many topics, such as general information or engine. Click on these hyperlinks to go directly to the section you want. As an example, let's pretend we want to look up procedural information related to blind spot warning testing. How can we test the system to be sure it's working properly? Go to the DAS, Driver Assistance Systems section located towards the bottom of the page. In this category, we should be able to find information on blind spot warning technology. Look through the table of contents until you see the topic that you think would cover the needed information. After looking through the table of contents, it looks like a good place to start would be page 34, Blind Spot Warning. Click the hyperlink to jump directly to that page. We have now jumped to page 34 of the DAS manual. We are looking at a wiring diagram, which is not what we wanted for this demonstration. Let's scroll down through a few pages and see if there is any other information more relevant to what we are looking for. Aha! On page 47, I'm starting to see blind spot warning, diagnosis, and repair workflow. This should be more in line with the information I need. On page 48, there is a step number four that says action test. Please pay attention to what it says here. Perform BSW system action test to check the operation status. Refer to DAS 51 description. Click the hyperlink DAS 51 description. This now takes us to page 51 in the DAS section. This page is exactly what we are looking for. It lays out the exact steps needed to be sure that the blind spot warning system is functioning properly after a repair. Please be aware that there are several ways to find information in the service manual. We could have simply accessed the DAS section and kept scrolling down without any hyperlinks until we found the relevant information. However, using the hyperlinks allows for much faster and efficient navigation. As you become familiar with navigation features, you will start to remember where certain topics are located and become more and more effective. If you have any issues or comments regarding our service manuals, please let us know. If you go back to the main quick reference section for the vehicle, you'll notice that on page 3, there is an entire page that is meant to be filled out by an individual user and submitted to Nissan. By submitting your inquiries, you can help to improve these industry resources. On behalf of Nissan North America, I'd like to say thank you in advance for taking the time to access and use our service information. Always feel free to let us know how we can continue to help you, the vehicle repairer.